I'm going to be looking at phrases that can be used in everyday business situations. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first one up today is sleep on it. In a nutshell, what it means is to think about it, to take time. We've got a new deal on the table, so I need to sleep on it before I make a final decision whether we go ahead with it or not. Next one up is in a nutshell. You've just heard me say in a nutshell in the last uh, examples. We could say our business is a success. So in a nutshell, our business is a success. We are growing. Fiona said everything in a nutshell. She was short and precise and to the point. It means to sum up very concisely in as few words as possible. Bend over backwards. I try and do this all the time. In other words, I go to a lot of trouble to help people. I go out of my way to help people. For example, I give somebody a lift, but I make a detour in order to pick them up. So I bent over backwards to give them a ride. Maybe at work, I bent over backwards in order to help them get through all their paperwork. I, I've, I've joined in and done some, of, done some of the filing for them to help speed it up. Cut to the chase. It means get to the point. Stop faffing around. You're talking too much. Just cut to the chase and give me the precise details. Account for. The cashier was unable to account for the missing money. Fiona was asked to account for the missing files. In the event of a fire drill, can you account for all your em employees? How do you account for your success? You're obviously very successful. How do you account for this? I've tried to give you some examples there of words that you can use in everyday business and also everyday life as well. So have a great day and I'll see you on the flip side.